Hey guys and welcome back to Amazing Creation Studio 76 and um, I've been gone for a while so I just want to apologize for that but I was just busy and trying new things I was doing customizing exact the same thing that I did to create the broken down foxy when I used uh, for the main character when he gets injured but no it's not plushy it's a transformer and the reason why this transformer is a turtle is because the transformers they did it, this one series called transformers beast wars where like in the name they took beast forms to battle on and i thought it was pretty cool and this one's a snapping turtle which i kind of like and uh he has a nice details on his shell and if you look closely uh, scales on his uh, hands and head and a neat thing they did they made the snapping turtle mouth open like there and they even painted the tongue like this and um, he has wrinkles underneath oh, and he has wrinkles underneath his neck there you go and um, the only part articulation he has is just that and that and no tail wagging but yeah and here he is I'm gonna do a 360 spin for you guys there you go and uh this guy's name is actually Snapper. So yeah, here's the top side, and when you flip it to the bottom, you see everything. Yeah, you can see bits, but I'll show you those later. Now, let me show you how to transform this guy. It's real easy. Just, uh, yeah, just pull on the tail and bring it down, and it brings out everything. And if you see carefully, the head, uh, when you pull down the tail, it actually goes into, oh, let me close the mouth first. It actually goes into the shell, which I think that's pretty cool, like a turtle always do when they see trouble. Just uh, fix up the feet and fix up the arms, and you're good. And I, I will admit, he looks pretty cool in this mode. And, uh,. Yeah, Snapper is a Predacon, which is the descendants of that one. Yeah, that one. So he's a grandkid to that one. And yeah, so um, he looks pretty cool. And let me show you where I uh, customize on him. If you look underneath his hands, he has regular turtle hands. If you flip it, you get... Uh, robotic fingers which I thought it might look cool since they look like skeleton fingers and to hit more uh, robotic bits in his skin so yeah and if you look at his legs I put little great dots there and painted this thing right here to make it more me metallic and uh, you might have seen this already I put but this silver bit right here on his lower torso and that's almost it and uh, I'm gonna do a 360 spin out for you guys there you go and uh, his hands look like they're scratching or digging mode but if you lift them up it looks like he's trying to have five like that and also if you uh, place it far enough it looks like he's trying to throw something and you can also pose him with a shaking hand pose so yeah and uh yeah the articulation on this thing let me show you is a swivel on on the head but can't do it because of these red pieces 
ball joint, ball joint, uh, ball joint, ball joint, and um, a hinge on this ankle. Now we're going to show you where's his weapon. Another cool feature that these guys do is um, they actually hide their weapons into their beast forms. This one's very clever. You're going to soon see. Just uh, flip him around. See this piece right here on his turtle back? Uh, you could just uh, simply pull it off. And um, like I was saying, there was more customs. This was all green and I painted it with yellow for the light places and silver on his back. So yeah, and um, I thought it's nice since it's uh, more mechanical bits hidden from uh, the organic armor. So yeah, here's a better look on it. What do you guys think? Now, uh, let me show you the piece that we took. It's just a turtle piece, like so. And all you gotta do is just pull this down and you're done. But here's the another thing. This was all green and I thought since it was covering this bit right here, then um, it would look clever since, you know, metal hidden from organic uh, shelled. So yeah, and another thing before we move on, if you could see it carefully, I actually painted that there's a triangle in the back of his head, and you could see that I painted it yellow. Try my best, folks. There you go. You could see that I painted it yellow. I thought it would be, I thought it would be nice, and uh, I painted all these uh, electricity parts to match his uh, eyes since he has yellow eyes. Now, back to the gun. Sorry, folks. So, yeah, for the gun, in order to put it, in order to put the gun on him, see these holes on his forearms? You could actually uh, peg them on, like so. Either hand is fine. You do it like this, line it up, and there you go. So Snapper is armed with his triple barrel gun. And if you look closely, I actually try my best to paint the uh, tips with uh, yellow paint. But it looks all right. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Snapper could uh, shoot his foes with uh, handheld style. And he has another style to uh, fight his foes. Show you. So just simply remove the gun and you could place it back into a spot where it was. Just do it like so. There we go. And now he could shoot his enemies over his head. It looks like Bombshell. Bombshell's an Insecticon. The one with the uh, one horn. And uh, yeah, here he is. So now he could shoot foes on over his head while carrying uh, I don't know energy on and also punching he could just uh, hold uh, other weapons but I'll show you it in the next video so yeah what do you, what do you guys think of this uh, uh, custom that I did if you like it give a big fat thumbs up if you like it and comment down down to the description and I'll, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, sorry folks, I forgot to mention what did I use to paint this. I use uh, Sharpies. I use a small one to, for the light things and a big one to paint the silver bits. So yeah, these are the Sharpies that, these, these are the things that I use to pick, customize this guy. And now, have a good day and see y'all in the next video.